this is Jeremy and John with the Disc Jockey News. Today, we've got some Yamaha equipment that we're looking at, John. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, we've talked about the, this is the Stage Pass 600i we're looking at from Yamaha. Okay. And we've talked about this. This is a two speaker system. It has this little guy down here. He is the, the brains, the module, the amplifier, the mixer, everything. Okay. And this snaps into the back, the wires that snap together. So it's a really, it's a quick portable PA system. Oh, right, oh, right there. there. Yeah. 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 Snaps right on the back. You put all your wires and everything, and that one, you yeah. have your, uh, and this your is amplifier and everything else. Exactly. The module goes in, and, and I've used this in the application where I've actually literally left the little module in here, and this became like a single powered speaker. Okay. Which I can run a jumper, a quarter inch jumper cable to the other, but at that particular event, I only needed one. But So we haven't talked about the sub below, or putting mm -hmm. it with the, the 600i system. So we've got the DXS12 here, okay. which is, you know, we've done a lot of videos with that. It's a nice 12 inch sub. And, and this is kind of a cool little system. This could be a, a, a small, uh, you know, if a person were doing a, a smaller wedding, if you're talking, uh, you know, probably about 100 to 150 people. Sure, sure. I think it could definitely cover that. I've, I've been really impressed with that. Guys that run karaoke, perfect karaoke. Oh, system. my goodness gracious. Yeah, yeah. you, you have the, the clarity. Um, as we're listening to it, uh, again, one of the things as we get a little older, mm -hmm. hearing and the highs and I really, you're not getting that piercing high. You really are, no. We, yeah, we can hear it. Yeah. And that's really, really fabulous with that. So tell us a little bit about the board that comes with the uh, the 600i. Well, the board has, um, I think it's a 10 channel, this particular one. Again, with the 600i, it has the 10. Okay. You can run uh, four different microphones in it. You can run uh, some quarter inch things into it. You can run, in this particular case, we're running a um, the RCA's in it. We have just the iPad, iPad yeah. just doing an iPad with it. Yep. Um, really, if we had to add a couple of microphones, we would be doing a ceremony. Yeah, yeah, you, um, that's all you would really need. If we were, you know, again, a karaoke jock, you could be, uh, there's a lot of guys who actually are using iPads for karaoke, where they have it, where the iPad does pretty much everything. They can control the one iPad with the second iPad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's just so much flexibility with, with what you can do with this. So how did we hook up the subwoofer to this? Well, that's actually something I want to show you. Let's, okay. let's, we're going to pop some, we're going to take the shut power off on these a little bit. Okay. Just, and what this is, is it comes out with a quarter inch jack. And of course we're going out of, out of the, the board with a quarter inch and you go into most of the powered subs with an XLR. So you need to have some sort of an adapter in this particular case, I've got a wire that is a quarter inch. It would be the tip sleeve, and it is set up to go, unfortunately, it's set up to go to the female instead of the male side. Speakers, generally, we would be going into that with the, the male side of it. So I decided I'm going to try it. Hmm. So I came out of that, plugged the quarter inch jack. We went into the back, but we went in with a female side into it, and it's worked wonderful. It works perfect, yeah. So, yeah, because of the through on most speakers, that will work. So in a, in a bind, I mean, ideally, we would have the wire... A little bit different, but in this, it's needing the uh, tip sleeve. And once you plug it into the subwoofer out, and this is somewhat, somewhat common now in the industry with speakers who will have the subwoofer out like that with the quarter inch subwoofer out. Once you plug in, it activates a crossover and oh, it rolls nice. off and rolls off the frequencies going to the top speakers. Sure. So now we're not having all the sub sig signal going here. And of course, it's sending that to the subwoofer, which is what it's doing in our situation here today. So, no XLR out. All quarter inch, also for the speakers it looks like. Yeah, exactly. Because this has the amplifier built in, it's sending, you know, just using a traditional speaker sure. wire. These are not powered, unless, of course, we snap that little power adapter or power head in here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice sounding little system. Actually, I think I want to do two things with it. Let's run it without okay. the sub on, where actually the sub is not on. Okay. And I'm going to we'll turn the board on. Let's, let's put a little music to it without the sub, and then we'll pause, and then we'll turn the sub on. Okay. So you get an idea of what it's sounding like. Now this is just the tops. Just the tops. Let's back this down. Okay. And do that. And where is it? Now we'll bring that back. Oh, that's a lot of them. A lot of them. Oh, yeah, sure. It really tells a different meter. And now that was with that quarter inch jack being plugged in. We're gonna do one more little test with this in a second. Let's listen for a second. Running in stereo, very clear. Very much. I can hear the horn perfectly. Uh, good vocal. Speedy's coming across this perfect. And I can hear Mick playing, I can hear him on the cymbals. <laughs> All right, so next. So, so now, okay, so let's do a little bit of that. Okay. So now, that was with I want to come back to the, the without the sub. 
And uh, we have our. We're, give us yeah, we're still on pause, okay? Okay, go ahead. Now, this is without the sub, but this is crossed over now because of that quarter inch jacket. Okay, pause that. Yep. We're going to shut this off. We're going to pop out that quarter inch. Now, what we're going to be doing this time is these will be running full range. So we're trying to remember what Stevie sounded like in the band, sounded like. Let's get, let's go. All right. Oh, I can really tell the difference. Yeah, exactly. So we have a little bit of a fuller sound, but it's not the sound. I'm sure everyone at home can't really tell a difference there, but but the difference with having that subwoofer even plugged in, you could really tell. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, when they're rolling out those frequencies, mm -hmm. the tens in the 600 stage pass 600i can do some some cool stuff, but. It can't be a 12 or it can't be a sub. Exactly. But exactly. Now, now in a situation like for a wedding ceremony, you've got a system. Even a smaller karaoke show that, you know, in, a, in an older bar, sure, as an example, sure. you know, where I'm not going to get into any dance music. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. It, would, it would be quick and easy. I mean, literally, you snap these things in, one in each hand, out the door you go. And that's it. Back Two or three minutes and you're, you're back on your vehicle and you're gone. Exactly. Um, Tripods, of course, with this, you can get a pole to go from the 12 to the uh, the top of the high if you'd like. Um, pros and cons, let's talk about that. Pros and cons, um, well, one of the, the cool things, of course, is that flexibility with the sub. Um, one, another thing that I liked about this is that it has, on the line input, it has a stereo and mono switch. Mm -hmm. and this is gonna become something bigger in the, in the industry as you're getting into bigger sound systems or applications that require mono. Now, of course, we, we all grew up in stereo and we thought stereo was so cool. Yeah. But what you're getting to is that you're having the bass, as an example, it's over strong in the left channel instead of in the right channel, where it's really become advantageous and a lot of audio guys are doing a sum of the bass to the subs and then they might be running stereo on the highs. That's, that's you know, you can do a lot of that with the processors. Well, on this particular board, it has the ability to go and switch, so you're now having that the two uh, channels sum together and you're sending out a mono signal with this. And just in our little example here, you could hear a huge difference. You really could. I, I mean, I, I, just the, the, the volume, because again, it's putting the same things on both sides, it just seemed to be louder. It, it really did, yeah. yeah. It, really it made a big difference just by pressing that little button. I mean, it, it, it came to, I would say, a good 30 to 40% louder yeah. on the sound system. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And still very clear. It's just that now I don't have you know the, this instrument in this ear and that and so on. Um, so that was that's kind of a cool a cool positive. Um, the flexibility is a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, now you know getting into the the limitations. Yeah, this is you know, in this configuration we have it has a one sub. It's going to be limited on how much you can do. Exactly. If you're if you're going to be playing a lot of dance music, if you're doing a, a wedding of over a hundred, a hundred and fifty, this system probably wouldn't be for you unless it's it's a hundred and fifty people of of maybe the age over sixty and they don't want it real loud. Then it would be fine. Exactly. Yep. But only one sub, that big deep bass that you're going to hear out of today's dance music, um, the rap and, and, and the hip hop, you're not going to get it with the system as much with just this 112. Exactly. So, so another option would be to come out of this sub mm -hmm. and uh, literally with an XLR cable connect a second sub. Sure. Now, when we're adding a second one, now I'm thinking we're pushing our wedding, getting probably at two to 200, 225 people. I'd say about that. Yeah, sure. Depending upon your room, uh, yep. again, of course. but. Now you're, you've got it that. And again, with foot, the, it's flexible. So you can run just two, you could run the three, you could run the four. Um, you know, we, we've, we've been looking actually at even some bigger subs than that, some 18-inch yeah. subs. Yeah. If you put that under there, I mean, this is a 10, so this can keep up to a point with, with a bigger sub. It, it gives you that it gives you some options. I mean, it really does, yeah, yeah. I, I, you can always go bigger. You can always go bigger with a sub. But for this system that we have here, like John and I were talking about, you know, that 150 range for a wedding, that below 100 people for a bar doing some karaoke, uh, maybe in an older type of a, a situation with, with maybe, uh, uh, like I said, over 45, over 50, where it doesn't need to be loud, it's perfect. Exactly. It's perfect. Now, probably the coolest part, you know, yeah, there's a lot of flexibility, but one of the coolest things that would make this valuable in itself is this could be a save your hiney. Sound system. Oh, absolutely. Because you could yeah. keep, I mean, this much could sit in a little tote or a good, you know, tote in your vehicle and mm -hmm. never be moved. The day that you blew a top or you blew a couple of tops, which has happened, unfortunately, oh, yeah. um, this could, you could plug this into one or two subs or what have you. It could be the, the little tool that saves the show. I was visiting with a bride and groom today, 
and on my information it says we have backup equipment if something is to fail. This is the type of system that I have for my backup equipment. Um, I, I did run a, a couple of different brands in the past. This is now the one I'm using because it, 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 it has the capability of, of having quite a bit more power, exactly. a quite a bit more range, and you've got a lot more flexibility with this compared to what I had in the past. Love the system for that, for you know, when it comes to something like that. Yep, yep. And there's a lot of flex flexibility and options and different things on this that we haven't talked about. Um, we've got some other videos where we've talked about the SagePass 600i from Yamaha. Mm -hmm. um, check those out. We'll put a link in the description so you can go to their website and check out more on this. But again, for flexibility, sound quality, it's really a great, great option. It really is. So more information? We'll put it in the description below from Yamaha. This is the Stage Pass, again up here, Stage Pass 600i. And down here we have the DS, DXS 12. You'd think I'd get this right by now. <laughs> this is, then down here we've got the Yamaha DXS 12. Yeah, perfect.